Hello artists, today we're going to create the northern lights in the sky and then later on it'll be followed up by a snowy mountain scene. You need a messy mat and a piece of black paper. Please write your name on the black paper and flip it over. Now first we need to create some stars and we want them to be totally random in your sky. The best way to do that is with some controlled splatter painting. So every table will have a lid with white paint and we will have combs and some type of brush to use that's really stiff for our splattering. So what we do is we dip the brush in the paint. We don't have to scoop, just tap it in and then we hold the comb over your project you're going to take the brush and you'll be brushing the comb, but you have to press down and away from you. It needs to go towards your paper. Some of your splatters will be big, some will be small. If you get a streak, we'll just call that a shooting star. Just make sure you're pressing down and towards your paper and away from your body. <laughs> we don't want to get it all over you. Okay, we have a beautiful starry sky. So whenever your comb and your brush is not in use, they need to go on your tray. Next, I'm gonna set that to the side for a second. You will have a piece of paper. The color does not matter. This is a tool. We're going to take it and you're trying to rip it so it has peaks and valleys. Or at least so it's curvy. We do not want it in a straight line. Take one of those pieces and we're going to use the cool colors in your chalk tray. The cool colors would be blues, greens, and purples. And they're all together right here. So pick a cool color and we're going to put it near that torn edge. Lay it on really thick. It's okay to be sloppy. Back to your project. Lay it down somewhere on your night sky. You will have a piece of tissue or paper towel. We're going to start at the chalky part and push up, up, and away. When we lift up, we have a little bit of color there. We repeat, so I'm going to choose a different color. Lay it on really thick, right on top of the other color. Lay this on your page another direction. Grab the tissue, up, up, and away. Creating those northern lights. If you want to get fancy with it, you could mix up your colors. Like I could put some purple on here and then go in and in the gaps put in a little bit of blue. Lay it on my page, up, up, and away. So we do this to create the northern lights in your sky. And when you are satisfied with the colors that you have up above, then this is going to head to the drying rack. And this piece is going to go bye-bye. <laughs>